With the trial done and the verdict in, the focus is now not only on Oscar Pistorius' future, but also on Judge Tokozile Masipa and her handling of the case. In what could well be a case of reverse trolls, the judge is seemingly on trial, at least in the public court, with the jury split on the merits of her verdict. She's analyzed the evidence, she's applied the law to that, and it was a very meticulous reasoning that she applied. So my view is she applied the law to the facts and the finding is correct. The principle is that if there's doubt, then you don't convict a person. It's for the prosecution to prove beyond reasonable doubt that you're guilty. And that's the safety catch in our system. If we don't have that, then people will be convicted all the time. The legal community is, is, is quite disquietened at the fact that she's found him effectively not guilty on the charge of murder because he didn't have intention. And the legal community, and I'm part of that community, so I speak for myself as well, we're concerned that she seems to have got the legal test for culpable homicide mixed up with the legal test for what we call legal intention or dolus eventualis. Judge Masipa describes Pistorius as a very poor and evasive witness, but she said it did not mean he was necessarily guilty. He is guilty and Judge Masipa should find him guilty because he killed someone and nobody should kill another. It seems as if Jack Masipa was afraid to, to talk straight that this uh, uh, Oscar Pretorius is guilty. Some Pretoria residents remain convinced that the Paralympian athlete is guilty. The trial, which began on 3rd March, has attracted worldwide attention. Carol Oyola, CCTV.